Hey guys, I'm Dakota and welcome back to my channel. Did you get a haircut? Yes, yes I did get a haircut. Thank you so much for noticing. Um, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I hope you guys do too. Uh, okay, let's get back on topic. So, yesterday, um, I went around all day and I went to a bunch of different stores looking for a new earring and I finally found one I kind of liked, so I got it. And it was just like, it's like an all day thing, man. There's nothing, there's no cool stores up here in Idaho. And so today I thought I'm gonna do something different and I'm actually going to go get some stuff to make my own earrings. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so I just thought I'd try it out on camera just so you guys can come with me. And so um, the first things first is we're gonna go to a thrift store to look for some cool stuff to make the base of the earring. Um, I got a little like gem in here um, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. It was really cheap. So I figured why not? Um, so we're gonna go to a thrift store and the first rule I have about going to a thrift store is you gotta wear your thrift store clothes. I got the shirt at a, the actual thrift store we're going to and it was only two dollars and so if you're gonna go to a thrift store you gotta look the part. I mean you gotta have that thrift store look. Got a cheap turtleneck and so we're gonna go to the thrift store right now and so let's get going. So we got some weird funny items in the thrift store. I spent $8.43 on all my items And so now we're gonna go to Walmart and just try to find some stuff to make the earrings um, I'll show you more in detail what I got when I get home, but I'm pretty excited for the for what they are So I will see you guys at Walmart spend this much time in the toy aisle in years but look at this the come up we got some fortnite toys too all right guys so we just spent 20 dollars at walmart um i mean it's not bad saying this entire project's only going to cost like 28 dollars so we're going to go home we're actually going to start working on these i'm not really sure what i'm going to do yet i'm not sure how to approach it but we're just going to play it by ear and see how it turns out all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to the debut of my unboxing channel um, we're just gonna go through all the stuff I got for earrings, and so I'm really excited. So the first thing I got, as you guys saw, was I got this little toy car. Uh, it was only a dollar, so I figured, you know what, why not turn this into something fun. It has a little McDonald's logo on it, so I thought it was funny. Um, we're gonna open this up right now. All right, guys, so this is the toy car I got. I thought this would be pretty funny just to have. And the next thing I got was they didn't let me only buy one, I had to buy the whole bag. So I got a bunch of mini little football helmets. And so if these turn out well, and this turns into a good earring, drop your favorite football team in the comments and I will make you your own personal earring or necklace or whatever you want with a football helmet because I have no idea what else to do with all of these. I don't even want a pair because they wouldn't match. And so I just thought that'd be kind of cool, a little football helmet earring. And then the third thing I got, the one I'm really excited about, is I found some Game Boy games. And so for those of you who didn't grow up playing Game Boy, it was one of my favorite things ever. I took it everywhere with me that I could. So I'm super excited about this. Um, I think it's gonna be super cool. I got a couple extra ones. You know, I got Kim Possible, gotta have her. And then the next thing I got, I just thought it was too funny not to get. I got some Fortnite toys. Um, it was only like five bucks at Walmart, so I just picked it up and I'm gonna try to turn these into something cool. So the last thing that I'm super excited about is I got a Harry Potter collectible wand. And so this is gonna be the prime unboxing moment because you can have uh, one of 12 unique wands. So we're just gonna try to do fancy. Look at that fingernail work, okay. It's Nymphadora Tonks. So we got we got something a little unique. It's not basic. It's not no Harry Potter or Voldemort. All right, guys. So these are all the things we're going to try to turn into earrings, starting with our toy car. 
our football helmet, our Game Boy Advance games, our Fortnite stuff, and then our wand. All right, guys, so I got this little spare parts mega pack at Walmart. It was $9.88. And then I also got some necklaces for $4.88, just so I could use the chain almost as like a link for to make the earrings. So we're gonna just bust all these open and then get started with trying to make it. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I opened it all up and I got all the stuff out that's used to make earrings. I'm gonna start with something easy, I think. Um, I'm just going to start with this little Fortnite pickaxe. I figure it'll be the easiest just to start with and practice on because I need to learn how to work with this material. And I also got here a little bit of wire, uh, actually a ton of wire, that I'm going to try to help me in order to make this. And so we're just going to get going right now. All right, guys, so it's not the prettiest thing ever, but I'm going to try to fix it. And then now I'm gonna try to put just one of these little loops on it. All right guys, so if it's not obvious, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well guys, I mean, it's not the prettiest thing ever, but it did its job. So now we're gonna hook it on to one of these little things. And I'm gonna try to use part of this necklace chain just to give it a little extra dangle, you know, so it's not super stiff. I'm gonna only do a couple little links though. So nothing crazy. We're just going to try to attach this to, I think I'm going to go with this one right here. So it's all silver. All right, guys, so we got the first one done. Um, it's my first time ever trying, so I'm actually really happy with it. I think it looks pretty funny. Uh, you know, what? I'm just going to put it in right now just to see what it looks like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a success. I mean, it's not the most beautiful thing ever, but I mean, for, for it being a Fortnite thing, I think it's really funny. And you know what? Express yourself however you want to. Uh, if a pickaxe from the ear is how you do it, go for it, man. Uh, I actually really like the way it turned out. And so we're going to move on to the next one. Um, the next one I think we're going to do is I'm going to try... I think I'm going to try this little race car. So we're going to check out how this one works.
right, guys. So we got our nice little Rugrats All Grown Up movie. And it's a working earring, too. So I'm actually super hyped about this one because I just wanted to do it as a joke. I didn't think it was actually going to work. And it actually works. It looks decent, but the best part is it still works as a Game Boy Advance game. So I'm super excited about that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching through. So we're going to go through and just see all the earrings we actually made today and check them out right now. All right, guys. So we have the first one we made, which was the uh, Fortnite pickaxe, <clears throat> which actually turned out really cool. Another really good one that I was excited about. I mean, for being my very first try, these don't look half bad. <clears throat> this one, it's a little less conventional, I'm sure. But, I mean, it still turned out decent. And then I think they honestly got better from here on out. Like, I think the attachments look much cleaner and much better. And then this one is my personal favorite. This one is the one I'm most excited about. Because, you know, got to have that Rugrats. And it's an earring. And it still works. So I'm so happy with the way these turned out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are back today. Um, it's a different day. I wasn't planning on doing another day of making earrings uh, just because I felt like I made a good amount yesterday, but I didn't want you guys to think that I was taking it as a joke and that I was just making ironic earrings, even though I was, but I wanted to show you guys that I could actually make something like half decent if I'm being serious about it. And so I was out at Walmart. Like I said, I wasn't even planning on doing this second part. And so I was just looking around and something caught my eye and I found these tiny little glass bottles. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to make these into an earring and I'm going to put, I'm going to make them into like a note in a bottle kind of thing. Like we all know the stereotypical pirate looking thing. And so I'm actually going to try that. I have some paper, I have some paint, I have a lighter. I'm going to try to make it look like old paper. And so we're just going to hop right into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first order of business whenever you're taking a project seriously, you gotta roll up the sleeves. You don't wanna get this nice, beautiful, fresh Prince of Bel-Air shirt dirty. So we're just gonna take the sleeves back a little bit and get them out of our way. All right, step one, done. Step two is I'm actually going to try to take a piece of normal paper and I'm gonna to try to make it look aged. And so a couple of ways I've seen online is that you use heat or you use fire or you use brown paint. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a combination of the both. I'm gonna use a lighter and just warm up the paper a little bit. I don't wanna catch it on fire, but I want to have like some almost burn marks. And then I'm gonna go over it with some really thin brown paint. Earring making sure is a lot of hard work. I'm just gonna take a nice little drink. Ah, that pineapple peach Vita kombucha. Nothing tastes quite like it. Not a sponsor, but they should be. My dearest Delilah, what is it like in the city of New York? I am many miles away, but I'm sure you look splendid. Times Square, I heard, shines, but nowhere near as bright as you. You beautiful woman, it has been so long since we've met, and I miss you. All right, guys, so now that we have our love note all aged and authentic looking, I also picked up some of this twine at Walmart. It was 98 cents, and I got a whole bunch of it. And so I'm going to just try to roll this up, and I'm going to actually tie a little bow around it before I put it inside our bottle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Bam. The next step 
which is going to be the most annoying and time consuming, which I should have thought about 10 minutes ago, is waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up because we're going to actually glue the little top back onto our bottle with our message in it, just so that it doesn't come undone when you're wearing your earring. So while we're waiting for the rest of the hot glue to warm up, I'm gonna show you what I got to finish off this project. So I got what are called fish hook earrings, which are these little things. And I thought they looked super cool because it really reminds me of a fish hook. And I thought this would be super cool to put on our little bottle, just so we have like a fish hook with our note in a bottle. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. A nice little message in a bottle earring that, I mean, honestly, all together probably cost me like, cost me like $3 to make. It was super cheap. All I needed was a piece of paper, which I had laying around anyways. I needed the little bottle, which was, I think it was like 98 cents, and then the twine, which was 98 cents, and then just hot glue, which I'm pretty sure most people have already. And then just this little earring part, which was a dollar and 20 cents. So it was all super cheap. And I think it actually looks really good. I like it a lot. Um, it's not too dangly, not too long. So it's really nice. And then I just think it looks super cool. I like it. It just has that little bit of detail where it doesn't look too homemade, but you know that I probably didn't buy it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I wanted to show you all that I do know how to actually make some decent looking stuff if I really try. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving me and I will see you guys in the next video.